So I guess if you think about Walsh University and where we started, if we were to have a theme song, it would probably be something like The Impossible Dream, because that's sort of what it seems like to me. The Brothers of Christian Instruction came to Ohio, from Maine actually, to found a college and to do it in a faith-based environment. The reason it grew, the reason it flourished, is that they had a tremendous sense of hospitality and they have a sense of inclusion. To this day, there's still that sense of welcoming, that sense of belonging, and a sense that regardless of where you have been or where you are from, you're welcome here and we're gonna help and support you as you go about in your own faith journey and your own development as a human being. Really, my experience has been absolutely amazing. You know, these four years have flown faster than I ever thought they could have. Um, but I wouldn't change a second of any of them. Learning more about myself, not only who I am and who I want to be, but also spiritually, um, is something that I'll never forget. What made Walsh the right fit for me was just, it was just unique and all the professors seemed interested in help you engage in learning and accomplishing your goals and tasks in life. Definitely I made the right choice in coming to Walsh. Um, the faculty's great. Everyone knows everybody by first name. Small, small class spaces, which is great. Teachers can interact with you one-on-one -on -one all the time. And Walsh University actually offers really great scholarship opportunities. Um, I became a member of the Honors Program here and got a presidential scholarship, so I get full tuition, and a lot of other students do as well. Walsh prepared me for my career in more ways than one. Um, I was a government foreign affairs major while I was here, and that major and the professors in that major really gave me a foundation in reading and writing and researching skills, and th those are things I do every single day as an attorney. Oh, um, I was actually uh, on clinical rotations with Walsh University when I was a student here, and uh, one of our clinical rotations was on the oncology unit. Um, I was walking around on the floor and I had the opportunity to meet the manager, and she asked me what university I was from. I told her Walsh University, and um, she was very proud about that because uh, she's had a lot of experience with, well, with Walsh University students where it was a positive experience, so, uh, she told me to fill out an application and it was obviously, honestly, about a, a week later where she uh, reviewed my application and I received the job. There are a lot of athletes here on campus and everyone is very supportive because it is a smaller community and we all know each other very well. As an athlete in undergrad, I, it would help me to uh, manage my time and that's something that I'm dealing with you know, today as an attorney. It's all about time management and as an athlete, um, in undergrad, it really helps you learn those skills. Well, you know, I'm not going to lie, the, the typical, typical freshman that came in and didn't want to do anything, you know, it's staying around the dorms, didn't really know anything, and uh, um, it was at the end of that year that I really started to get involved and get, go on service trips, and that just kind of jump-started everything for me, and um, now, I mean, I think I've been on at least six service trips while I've been here. You know, I came in here thinking that I wanted to go to law school, and now I want to go into campus ministry, and I never would have learn that if I didn't come here and get involved in things that I did. The range that you, you learn in the classrooms and just the different internships you're able to get. Like I've been working with Hattie Larm from developmentally disabled kids to farming. And I mean, you put those two together, you wouldn't know where to mix them if you, know, you didn't have any structure. And it's just, those are two opposite things on different playing fields, but they come together in a unique way. Michael came to Walsh on a football scholarship. And his sophomore year, he began to explore other options. And because his, he's actively been engaged with his mother, who owns a daycare in Cleveland, he was curious about children, but he wanted to stay focused on finance and marketing and management. So for him, the opportunity to work with Hattie Larum gave him the opportunity to bring a lifestyle from his, his personal world to the classroom, and then through the classroom, create career options that are going to be unique and very profitable. My background from Walsh University was very unique. Uh, in that it prepared me for the current job that I have now. I founded my own company two years ago and I started to look for potential collaborators. Uh, and it dawned on me, what a better place than Walsh University. We can work on a real live project, a project that has implications to treat human beings that have cancer. Most undergraduate universities are not gonna have that capability. So what this provides to Walsh University is not only can they do the book work here on campus, and take advantage of some of the laboratory courses and get training in terms of research. But now, instead of doing research on a project which comes out of a textbook, the students here at Walsh University are doing research on real life projects that have real implications. Sometimes when I'm in lab, I forget how big the project is because I'm working on such a small part of it and I'll just be sitting there and 
I'll think back and I'm like, oh my goodness, this could actually help the entire world. Coming to such a small school, I guess you don't think that you can get involved in something this big, but Walsh definitely works to get every single one of their students involved in something that will further their career. And since they know you so well, they know where to put you so that you'll enjoy it the most. I really believe that we're very deliberately seeking to help a generation move forward and that we're not all about prestige and elitism and being the most expensive, but we're about helping real people with real issues, with preparing them for careers and turning out the kind of people who go back to their families, their churches, their communities and their organizations and know how to give back. Um. Really, it's, it's the relationships that you build here, and it's the, the people that you meet that aren't only there as the professors or your mentors or your advisors. Um, they're really there to push you and make you learn more about yourself. You're going to meet people that are going to impact your life so much um, that you'll never be able to forget the experiences you have here. I would say if you're looking to come to Walsh University, just set up a tour, just come on the campus and look at it for yourself. I mean, to Look at it on the internet is one thing, but actually come and visit is another, and I think you'll really enjoy it. We have great tour guides. We're going to show you the best that Walsh has to offer, and I think you'll be really excited about coming. If I were a prospective student looking at Walsh University, why should I attend Walsh University? It's a liberal arts university. And this is very important. It's creating a well-rounded student that can tackle any of the obstacles that you may find in life. If you're looking for a university to where you feel, like I said before, that you can grow as a person, um, that you're a part of a close-knit family um, where you'll have more than just educational values instilled in you and um, you have relationships for a lifelong, um, this is the place where you want to come.